Hey, St. Louis, it's me, Nate Johnson. I hope that you're all doing well, staying safe and healthy. I've got a tale of three Britneys for you. In this next video, you'll see a little bit more about the story and I'll kind of give you the details about why Britney Spears made me cry. I was at lunch the other day with a group of realtors and I was telling the story about Britney Spears and I am not even kidding. It literally made me cry telling this story. I couldn't get through it. And for me, it really just was about the power of the human spirit, you know, for us to be able to affect positive change. So here's the story. So you may have heard that Britney Spears was recently released from her conservatorship. So she was basically a, like a prisoner in her own castle for like a 10, 15 years or something like that. I don't even know how long, but it was a really, really long time. And what I found so interesting about that is the people that came to defend her. And there were like groups of people outside the courthouse every time she had a hearing, they were protesting, free Britney, all of that. And, but what I saw in that was fascinating because I watched the documentary, Framing Britney Spears, which kind of talked about how all of this came, up, came to be. And when I watched that, when I was looking at these people that were out there, it's like, you know what? They were saying that, you know, Britney really made a difference in their lives because they were outcasts too. And, Nobody wanted them around and, you know, people didn't spend time with them, all this stuff. They didn't have anywhere to look to, but they looked to Britney Spears and her music. And basically, I really identified with what she was going through. And when she was set free a couple of weeks ago, it was just, it was, it was, it was, it was, it was so emotional to me, not because of Britney Spears herself being set free, but what she said because she got on her Instagram video and she said that to the people that were protesting and really worked to get her out of conservatorship, she said, you saved my life. And I thought it was just so touching because what it did is it reminds me of the power that we have, no matter how small we are. As Margaret Mead said, never doubt that a small group of concerned citizens can change the world because indeed it is the only thing that ever has. So in Britney's case, this small group of concerned citizens who had no power, no clout, did what they could and it resulted in her freedom. So think about what you can do, what I can do, you know, what we all can do to create positive outcomes within our community. And that's why Britney Spears made me cry. Another Britney that made me cry this week is Britney Griner. So she was released from prison in Russia. Now, she was there for a long time, several months, and she had a 10 year sentence that she was staring down in Russia because of having some weed. Now, um, I tell you what, I, you know, every country has their own laws, but does somebody really need 10 years for having a little bit of weed? Probably not. So our president and the other folks, diplomats working behind the scenes to get her safe release uh, was just something else that brought tear to my eyes. Um, now also, I would certainly love to see Paul Whelan and others that are held in captivity be released as well. I'll cry for them too. But the third Brittany that made me cry is our very own Brittany Bonds, part of the Real Estate Solutions Group here at Red Key Realty Leaders. And she recently gave a presentation to a college and she was talking a bit about her history and her path to success. And I'll tell you, she's an amazing speaker and she brought tears to my eyes telling me her story about her upbringing. So three Britneys that made me cry this week. Take care, everybody. Have a great weekend.